Hey everyone! I was not going to vlog today but I have changed my mind and decided I wanted to and I'll just find a space for this to go because I have a video I have to film and post tonight. I'm trying to keep up with my vlog schedule. Um, but hello! I decided I was going to vlog today just because I felt like it. I really enjoy vlogging so I am currently... Today is gardening day for me. Every Tuesday I do like garden and yard stuff. It is snowing like crazy right now. The kids are outside playing and shoveling. Um, I think they're like shoveling the neighbor's walk and things like that. So I am currently inside working with all of my potted plants and herbs. Um, some of my herbs have kind of gone a bit dormant for the winter, which is normal. Um, some of them are doing really well. Some of them are adjusting and are, are a little like, what is this lack of light and kind of cold windowsill? Um, and some of them that are higher up, like my big pothos, and there's just, I've been neglecting my plants. Bad herbalist, I know. How could I? Um, <laughs> I think I need to move them around. I think I need, I might move some into the kids' room. Hopefully Carly won't knock any over. Um, they have great light in the kids' room. So I have some things to bake today. Basically, this week, the end of the week, is quite busy we have something very exciting going on uh Cody and I do so I'm very very excited for that I have one basket of sheets to fold today did all my laundry yesterday put it all away quite proud of myself made sure I got it done I've got baking supplies out because I'm going to make banana bread I bake on Tuesdays I would love to make some I have some like older oranges and apples that just the kids I bought the wrong apples and the kids don't love them they're like a mushier kind of apple you know what I'm talking about? Um, so I think I might dry some. I have to bake first, obviously, because you have to dry things in the oven for hours. Um, so I'm gonna make tons of banana muffins for the week for the kids. And then I think I might make, here, I'm gonna put you guys down because my arm is getting sore. This is just like the worst angle ever. So I'm gonna make a bunch of banana muffins for the week. Um, just make sure there's tons of snacks in the house and, and fresh baked goods because this is kind of my last like putt day, putt, put around, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I just need to get some stuff done. I need to tend to my plants, like trim some off, make some, put some babies in their own pots, stuff like that. I need to go get some more pots, but I'm trying to just like be pinchy and make do until spring. I've let my basil grow completely out of control and it's way too tall, so I'm going to try and remedy that. I might kill all of it. Basil is finicky and is picky. But surprisingly, it's doing like, it's one of, basil and the oregano are doing the best in the winter so far. Uh, well, of course, like, the rosemary is fantastic, but yeah. Anyway, enough about plants. Sorry guys, I can talk about plants for a long time. Um, I don't know if you can see. Hopefully that's not in frame. You've got a geranium plant that desperately needs repotting. So many of my plants just have outgrown their pots and I don't know what to do because I don't have a very big stash of very large pots, which is what these guys are needing. Um, oh, I have one large pot. Because my lemon balm died. Because I was a dummy and replanted it in a pot that was far too large for it. Just not thinking and just like, trying to get stuff done and I was like ah it'll probably be okay no if you plant a pot or if you pot a plant in a pot that is way larger than what it was in if you don't go up like bit by bit you can stress a plant out and it will die uh just like little indoor plant gardening tip for you um <laughs> yeah so don't be like me and, and kill your plants by just stressing them out in a container that's too big so anyway that is what I have to do I want to dry did I finish that topic that I was talking about. I want to slice and dry some apples and oranges to make ornaments. I would like to just have, why did I say that really weird? I felt like it sounded like Miranda for a second. Um, I just want to dry some in the oven and string them on the tree and up around the house. I think that would be really pretty. Today's the last day that I really have to do things. 
Wednesdays are a little busier, but I want to, I have other things to focus on tomorrow. Um, and then Thursday's a very exciting day. We've got a babysitter coming, so I just want to make sure everything is good to go. So yeah, I felt like vlogging today, so I guess I'm going to take you guys along with me a little bit. I'm just catching up on vlogs that I like to watch and doing housework. It's a good day. All right, so here's my mini jungle of some neglected houseplants I need to fix. Geranium is a fantastic indoor plant to have in the winter. Just so you know, it thrives in the winter. It probably does better in the winter than it does in the summer here. This has so many babies shooting off of it. I need to just fix all of this hot mess. My poor mama spider plant. And then this guy's a little sad too. Because, well, and so is my, my sweet, like, pothos type thing. Um, they were up high in the summer. They were loving that, but I don't think they are loving it now. So I might need to douse a few, just get them really wet and let them drain out. Um, some of them just need to move into sunnier spots. So we shall fix them. Oh, and that guy too. He is totally outgrown his pot in like no time at all. Crazy plants. Okay, we've done a lot more than I think I originally intended to, but like once or twice a year, I will go through and repot anything that needs to be repotted. And I try and shuffle through my pots a little bit. Um, otherwise I find that I wind up with more pots than I need, or I don't know, the sizing of the pots is off. So I've separated a couple, I've planted babies, a lot of spider plant babies. We have a lot of spider plant babies. The spider plants really just give us a ton of children. Yeah, and look, um, that one grew up, so now we I'll have show them in a second. Babies. So I had to repot a lot of the bigger ones. Like my one spider plant was like going crazy. I'm gonna have to buy another giant pot for the big original mama spider plant. I think. Um, yeah, there's two mamas though. So I'll just show you, I guess. This is, we did. the table is an absolute disaster. This is the aftermath, this is what happens. Yeah. So, and I'm still tangling with this tangly I've, thing. Yeah. So I replanted the one that was looking sad. This was a bigger pot. Um, it just needed some more breathing room, I think. Geranium got a, well, this specific geranium got a much bigger pot. I'm not gonna go through every plant because not everybody enjoys plant stuff. But these guys all got repotted. Some of them are little, some of them will grow bigger. Like this guy. See, these little clippings that I've just, just taken. I know this is disgusting. Don't worry. This is all like plant stuff that's been just sitting under. Cause so of course it's dirty, but I'll clean it in a second. Um, those guys will turn into this because originally this came off of this not even six months ago. So this got replanted. The aloe got replanted. 
Um, these got separated and put into smaller pots because it wasn't doing super well. And it's big pot, it was really hard to water because it was originally in this. So because it's winter, I've cut my lavender down a little bit and because I don't want to stress it out too much after replanting it and put lavender in this pot, I think it'll do lovely there. There's a geranium bush with my awful basil. So I'm gonna have to trim down the basil, but geranium and basil can be friends. So um, these guys are kind of in hibernation mode, but they're still kind of there because we're inside. So my wall, my windows look so naked and I need to put everybody back. Yeah, I hate how naked your windows look. And we're gonna have to put, I don't think I can put anybody up there again. I don't know, we'll see. We'll have to put some in my bedroom. And we'll have to put some in your room, yeah. So I'm gonna go around and I'm going to um, put, find everybody home again and then yeah. see what happens. Okay, yeah. we are finished with the planting. We're having some like lupper kind of middle of the afternoon we're just yeah. eating a big meal snack um we'll probably dinner. snack this evening um but i guess i will show you we haven't baked yet haven't gone to that yet so we have all of these guys Put some new guys up there and then over here there's one here and then this window everybody has found a home and everybody has in various too. spots mackenzie named all of them so we're done that. That was a bit of more of a project than I expected. I've ordered my online groceries. Now Cody is going to be home soon. I think he's going to run to Costco because we have a bit of a snowstorm happening. So we don't want to like pile the kids in the car when the roads aren't the best. So he's going to stop off at Costco and then I'm going to bake with the kids and then hopefully be able to put ornaments in the oven like dried fruit like I talked about earlier and then I'm going to um, my friend's house tonight because it's Tuesday so an adventure I'm supposed to film a video today too but I'm torn on whether I will do that or if I will just post this same vlog today and that's what I'll do with this vlog maybe I haven't decided yet we shall see but I'm gonna go eat and then I'll catch up with you guys in a second okay super grossed out right now Grayson, a few weeks ago, Grayson opened the fridge to grab a snack and dropped the whipped cream can, fell out of the fridge and landed on his toe. But it landed like, here's the edge of the whipped cream can, here's the toe. It went like that and hit him in the toe and hurt a lot we were like oh crap did it break his toe because it was like bruising a lot then it basically it wasn't broken it just like turned black and it's been a black toe now so i don't even know if i can talk about this on the vlog you guys if you don't like gross things like skip ahead okay i'm not gonna go into gory detail but like it you know um okay skip ahead right now so <laughs> there he just came up to me and was like, Mom, it's kind of falling off. Ugh. So now I'm Googling what to do. Because I've never experienced this before. <laughs> I've never seen this. I know what happens. I know it's fine. I know a new one will grow back in like six months. But because like not all of the toenail, it's like most of the toenail is like injured. And there's all the dry blood underneath it. But like just the edge in like one of the corners is still attached and I'm like, I'm like I can't I can't rip it off. I, I can't do it. So I'm just reading on what to do. Mama? Uh-huh. Why are you vlogging my nail? It, I'm not vlogging your nail, I'm just talking about it. Is that okay? Cause I can just delete this, but like Yeah, you can delete it. You'll show it to dad though. Do you not want me to vlog about it? Yeah. Am I, am if I you vlog about only show it to dad. Can I put it in the vlog? I'm not showing your, I'm just talking about it. I'm not showing your, I told them that you dropped a whipped cream can on it and it got all bruised and, and now it's starting to fall off. That's all it, I said. What? Is that okay? Yes. I wasn't going to show them. Is it okay that I talk about it in the vlog? Yeah. I'm just telling the story. Okay, but I really want to do a show. I was going to ask you after, but. Nasty to read. It's so gross. I don't know what to do. I don't want to rip it off. That doesn't sound right. Like that doesn't make sense. I don't want to like. I can't imagine somebody trying to rip my like 
a still a patch, attached portion of my nail off. Can't do that. But like, it's not like this is a doctor thing either, because they're gonna be like, well, so I like rip it off or like, whatever, wait till it falls off. What do I do? Ugh. Sometimes having kids is gross. <laughs> Hello everybody, congratulations to making this far in the vlog. Um, <laughs> you've hit the end! I didn't end this vlog last night, so I'm ending it tonight, the next night. Night this is going up. Um, I hope you enjoyed. The kids and I were making banana muffins and banana bread. We had a really, really good day. They played outside in the snow, got a whole bunch of stuff done, and then I went to my girlfriend's house and we um crocheted and watched our shows that's what we do every week um it was a lot of fun and then I was absolutely exhausted yesterday I somehow managed to mess up my neck slash upper back I don't know what I did but it's quite bad so today has been a very mellow day but I just wanted to pop on and end this vlog officially I'm really excited because the next vlog you guys see it's going to be something Cody and I have been looking forward to for months, so um, look out for that. There will be a couple other, there will probably be another video in between, but the next vlog you see will be that. Um, hopefully, I will be able to rotate my head by then. <laughs> I hope so. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, as always, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, then make sure you hit that subscribe button after I'm done talking. You'll see it as just a little family picture in a circle. You can click that to subscribe to us. Um, turn on your bell notifications if they're not already turned on. And have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your evening or morning or afternoon. Whatever time it is that you're watching this. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have a really good rest of your week. And we will see you very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Yes, I do you all of the time. I like to.